Well, hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Life of Wonders. My name is Polo and I love making videos of dolls, toys and Disney collectibles. And as always, if you like this kind of content and you feel like supporting the channel, well, feel more than welcome to subscribe to it and that way you will not be missing out on any of my future videos. Now today we're going to be talking about the upcoming dolls that will be released alongside um, well, the release of Peter Pan and Wendy, um, the live action movie that will go direct uh, to Disney+. Plus. Now, I'm very excited about this because I've seen or I've watched and enjoyed uh, every single, you know, um, Peter Pan themed uh, movie ever released. I'm so into it. Uh, to me, it's always been a very magical base of a plot. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I wasn't anticipating this one as much. I didn't even know it was, you know, in the process. Um, and when I knew it was uh, being made, I, I never expected to have dolls because I knew it would be a direct uh, to Disney Plus as opposed to just going to the theatres. So anyway, but we have dolls uh, released by Mattel. Apparently, according to youloveit.com, we'll have dolls both uh, being sold by Mattel and Shop Disney, although I really don't know if that means that Shop Disney will also be selling the Mattel um, versions or will have a film collection from Shop Disney. Anyhow, um, as far as I can see, we'll have three dolls. So we have a duo pack for Peter Pan and Wendy. And I think they really have captured how these are uh, two characters look um, according to what I've seen so far in the trailers um, for both Peter and Wendy. I know it's always kind of hard uh, to, you know, uh, portray a human being in in the shape of a doll, but I think they've managed uh, more or less. Um, and I actually love the new features for each individual character. The only thing is that obviously as this is a Mattel release, um, well, the fashions or the pieces of the outfit will have printed on details and that's it. There's no texture, uh, there's no complexity to them, uh, just printed. <laughs> um, but that's okay because as far as they look all right and they have a bit of articulation, which they will have, um, I'm perfectly fine. I mean, if we get more dolls and then those dolls will have more to offer, I will be even happier but just when I wasn't expecting any dolls and now we have these ones I am already uh, quite happy about it so we have Wendy this time um, is wearing a pyjamas that is composed of a blouse and trousers which I think is going to be obviously so much more comfortable um, when she's up for adventure in um, Neverland as opposed to just having a nightgown as in the original animation and then she has this coat um, or comfy coat, I guess, though it has like a Victorian theme to it, um, with a faux damask or paisley pattern, uh, but everything is printed. And then she has boots and she's got a necklace with a chestnut, I think. Um, and I'm guessing that will be an important uh, part of the plot. Then we have Peter and, um, and I have to say I like him uh, quite a lot um, because I actually appreciate that um, they gave us two pieces of clothing as opposed to just having the legs uh, being plastic which happened to both the genie and Aladdin when they were released by Hasbro uh, so this time I mean he could be undressed and redressed etc etc and then he's got articulation and he also comes with the iconic uh, little heart, um, a couple of bracelets or, you know, um, yeah, pieces of um, string uh, that goes around the wrists and then a belt and a sword. And the boots are pretty cool as well. 
and yeah i mean they look they look okay i would say um yeah i'm not so over the moon with these two but they look good um and then we have tinkerbell and tinkerbell is the gem of this release i mean she's so precious um i think she looks very much like the actress that's going to portray uh tinkerbell in this remake and i and and just I don't know, I really can see the essence of Tinkerbell just looking at her, even though she's got a different skin complexion and everything. That's how um, we really have to open our minds to understand the essence of the character and not just, you know, staying um, shallow <laughs> uh, to only um, appreciate how they look on the outside. It's very important that the essence is kept and i think that as long as that is kept and you know uh done justice then i really don't mind um any other changes they make uh in my opinion this tinkerbell is beautiful i really can't wait to see her in motion um and the doll is very beautiful too this one will come with a general articulation as any other barbie extra so quite a bit i think that's pretty all right uh i guess it will be the size of a barbie as well and then her hair her skin um the um face screening as well it's just so gorgeous and she has wings that will be um moving as well and and that is super cool the only thing about her is the outfit that i think that for tinkerbell uh for how really um you know good as she looks um it's a bit of a disaster <laughs> to have you know these especially this dress um, composed with leaves and elements from nature just been printed on. Um, but I have to say that as the outfit doesn't change as much uh, between the classic doll and this doll over here, I'm pretty sure we can transfer a classic Tinkerbell doll for this one over here and she might look even better so that's pretty cool anyway i love her so much and she's got um fairy pointy ears as well and i'm very excited i'm very very excited about this movie so this was my little um, overview of the dolls we'll be getting. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have well don't forget to like comment share and subscribe as always, I will be more than happy to get back to all of you. For now, stay safe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.